Hey everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanna give you a walkthrough of Biology 101 according to the days of creation. So hello everyone, welcome. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscription button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So today, I uh, just wanna give you a walkthrough of the biology course that I'm gonna be using when my 10th grade or next school year. It is Biology 101, Biology According to the Days of Creation. And I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the curriculum and how it works. This is a biology course. It is a video course uh, for, your, for your high schooler. So the, the, the curriculum comes with the video. I, didn't, I don't have the video to show you in the iPad or anything, but there are some videos that you show, that, that you watch with your, you know, that your children will watch. But the curriculum, uh, the videos, I think there's only about four hours of videos. So if you can see, uh, there's four hours of videos and there are just a guidebook and quizzes. So if you can see, that's not, might not be enough if you're gonna use this for a credit but I'm gonna show you in a second how you'll be able to do that. So this is Biology 101, you watch the video, and then for each section, so they're gonna have, so are we, we're gonna be doing uh, life defined, life classified, we're gonna study the plant kingdom, uh, we're gonna study aquatic creatures, we're gonna study avian creatures, land animals, mankind, and genetics. So for each of the sections, there's gonna be a video. Once you watch the video, you go over, you read the you read the guidebook, okay? So this is gonna be the guidebook that you are going through. The child is gonna read after watching the video, okay? And after that, so at the end of each section, there's going to be a quiz. And the quizzes are just um, multiple choice quizzes. I think they're all multiple choice. Let me make sure. I don't want to say something that's not true, but I think all the quizzes are multiple choice. Yes, I guess I believe. Okay, so this is almost kind of at the end or kind of middle, and it is you know multiple choice. So um, your kid will watch, the child will watch the video. They will read the section in the guidebook that goes with the video. And at the end, they will take the quiz. If you wanna make this accredited, if you wanna give your child credit for doing the curriculum or for biology, a whole biology, you will have to purchase the Biology 101 course accreditation program. And this will help you get extra hours, extra help. I'm sorry, you know, extra um, assignments to be able to add up for a whole course. So it says here that there are, it says the video segments is, you know, is the heart of the program. There's four and a half hours of, of videos for them to watch. But if you wanna give it credit, if you do the accreditation program, there's gonna be about, a, <coughs> excuse me, about 135 hours of work and then about 20 hours of lab work. And that will be, you know, that will be enough for you to give your child a credit. Okay, so each, uh, you start here and it gives you all the items that you need for labs. Your students are gonna be doing working on some labs. And these are, easy, these are things that you're gonna have at home in, you know, that you can work through these labs or something that you can buy inexpensively. So for each segment, it's gonna give you the activities that you can do with your child. So I'm gonna go over here for week one. Actually, I'm gonna go, yeah, let's go, let's go over week one. So this is segment one, Introduction, Life, Defend. So it gives you the activities for week one, activities for week two, for week three. It gives you about how long the child is gonna to take to complete the assignment. And then you have here to put the actual hours that they took, and then you can you know, sign it off. If, you, if they're working in the panel, you sign off that they did it. So for example, for activity for week one, the, cat, the child is gonna be making your you know, biology notebook. It's gonna take them about half an hour to do that, put the notebook together. You're gonna to watch the introduction video with your family, or you know, then you're gonna read you know, the study guide. It should take about an hour to read the study guide. Then another assignment, find encyclopedia entry or an article on taxonomy and read it, okay? So that's, that's for week one. For week two, take a field trip, go out for lunch or dinner. Classify the items at the restaurant table with your family. I should take about two hours. That's considered kind of a lab. 
uh, read a book or an article or watch a video concerning the truthfulness, accuracy, and reliability of the Bible. Um, so that's going to be two hours right there. I already know one movie I'm going to be watching. I've been trying to research some things. Then from week three, read the creation story in Genesis chapter one and two. Watch the video again. Read again the study guide, page one to six, then take the quiz. You can see the quiz. It is, uh, you know, um, a multiple choice. Then look up the scriptures on page six of the guidebook, what Jesus believe about it. That's going to take about an hour and the whole uh, three weeks, it should be about 10 hours of science right there. So if you can see, it gives you all the activities that you can do. You may either have to find a video, so go to library or get books. For example, for the second segment here for plants, you kind of do the same thing. You watch the video, you do the guide, um, and then for it says read, read three to five juvenile book or library books or watch a video about plants. So those books could be kids' books. It, it can be you know, picture books. It even says it here. Even if you have a high schooler, it's given information, read a picture book, watch a video. You can go find some YouTube videos. Take about two hours doing that and learn about plants. Also, some non-juvenile uh, books. You go on a field trip, you go to a nursery, and you identify the different types of plants, write about it, then read some books. So it gives you all the things that you can do, okay? So I'm already finding videos and writing things down and places you know that we can go for field trips and we and, and if you find a field trip that's better what's in that you know that's better but if you it might be you know more fun for your child you can do that too you don't have to do it exactly as it says in here but that's the beauty of homeschooling but you know for those next three weeks it will be 17 hours so everything is labeled here for you or it gives you a guide of what you can do with your kid for science to be able to get a credit uh, so this is great um, this is really good, like right? I said, when you have a reluctant learner, when you have a child that has a learning disability or special needs, this is, I feel, for all the curriculum that I looked at, this will be, I think it's going to be a good mix for us because of that. It's, you know, it's not really rigorous and for, for us, for the way that my, my, my student learns, this is the best thing. So this is... It's a seven. It looks good. We haven't started yet. This is for next school year, but it looks really good. It looks like we'd be able to adapt and add some other things that we really enjoy by doing, you know, the course accreditation part of it. Because like I said, we can pick the books that we want. We can get movies. We can do all the field trips and, and, you know, we can change the things around if we find something that, you know, might work a little bit better for us. But it's, I think it's just, it's going to be doable for us and maybe some things that she can do independently that, um, you know, we're trying to work more independently as we go along. I think that I'm adding to this, it doesn't come with this. It hasn't, you know, it doesn't even tell you to get it, but I watched a video of somebody that was reviewing this and I said to add a book to it, um, that, that they added this book. I said, hey, let me look at it. It was very inexpensive. And so I decided to add this book also. So if you decide to go with this curriculum, if you want to add something else to it, just to have for your reading assignment too. Um, we can, I got the world, Exploring the World of Biology from Mushrooms to Complex Life Forms by Hutz, John Hudson Tinner. And this is a master books book. And this is a biology book. So for example, when you're studying plants and it tells you go ahead and read a non-juvenile book about plants, we can go ahead and go in this book and go read um, part of this book. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, for example, here. I'm gonna show you just go ahead really lesson like chapter one. So we're not gonna go through this book, you know, from beginning to finish, and not even in order. We're just gonna find if we need some extra readings for the for the different assignments, we are gonna take them from here. Okay. Also has some questions we can add if we want to. Yeah, maybe some I think there's some activities in there too. So so I think this will be, this is going to be a good addition to, I think, to the uh, Biology 101. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful and I may helped you. You know, I'm just here to show you what we're using, not to tell you this is what you need to use, but just to give you ideas, especially if you're new to homeschooling, you have a new high schooler, and you're looking for different curriculums and things to do with your child. This curriculum, I think, will be really good if you have a reluctant learner, if you have a child with special needs or learning, you know, or learning disabilities. I think this will be a good fit. You can look at it. You can go on the website and look. But from what I see and how I know my child learns and her ability level, her developmental level, I think this will be the is.
from everything that I looked at, I looked at a lot of things, I think that this will be the perfect fit, you know, for her. So if you have any questions, and I will do it, you know, once we start in August, I will come back and show you how we're doing. But I think hopefully this is gonna work. So thank you so much for watching and you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also if you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you do so for more ideas and motivation. I will see you soon. Bye.